everybody and welcome back to my YouTube video. So today we're doing a unboxing of this toy that I found at my local dollar store called Cutitos. It's a Frutito furry friend wrap. I'm assuming it's a stuffed animal um, that comes inside like a little burrito style blanket. Um, I've never actually seen these online. Like a lot of things that I'm probably going to end up doing, I heard a bit of online. However, I've never heard of this before. I've never seen it. Um, I didn't know it existed until I was going through the dollar store toy aisle and I just happened to stumble upon it. Um, this one specifically is a scented plush from series four and retailed for $10. So let's get into it and see what this thing has to offer us and to offer the toy world. Alrighty, so now that we have the camera flipped around and my annoying air conditioning has turned itself off, thank goodness, I'm wanting to talk about the packaging and, um, you know, just go over, you know, does it have any plastic layers, how many things do I have to throw away, things like that. I feel like that's very important when you're opening surprise toys, is how many wrappers and how many layers you have to end up throwing away. Because trash, especially plastic, I mean, it's not good for the environment, we know this. But for a lot of things, it takes approximately, I think, 400 years to, for trash to wear down. And so everything that we end up throwing away from all these, like, little surprise toys... Are, they're going to the landfill and just making the environment a lot worse. So from the feel of it, um, the layers actually feel like they'd be like fabric or something similar. You can see a little bit of a kind of like blanket textured thing through here. So I'm really excited for that because not only does it keep the surprise element, but maybe it could be something that we can use later. It's a lot better than having a piece of trash laying around. Okay, so the, the bag that it's in it looks to be a tear bag, as it has this little notch here. Um, the bag itself has pink, green, and it has shapes up here. It has um, apples and uh, triangles, and it's in a bright kind of cotton candy pink. And on the bottom, it also has apples and triangles, as well as these little confetti-looking things. Um, there's a little clear kind of see-through place right here, and we see like a little kind of squishy thing in there that has a lot of fruit on it. I see strawberries, I think a pomegranate, I'm not really sure, um, a lemon, orange slices, watermelon, I see I think kiwi or lime or something right there. It says new fruit wraps, so I'm assuming this is going to be a fruit themed thing, however mine might also not be because it's just got this pink fabric. Um, it is scented, and it's uh, Series 4. We can get that. There we go. And on the very, very top, it has a little picture of, I think, a penguin? A lion with a tie-dye mane that kind of looks really sad. Um, possibly an owl, a unicorn, and it kind of looks like a horse with wings. And It might be a dragon, I think. It says, Fruititas, unroll a fruity... Furry friend. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Don't think the tear strip came off, right? Okay, it did. Oh, it's one of those like resealable kind of Ziploc bags. Okay, so there was this piece. This is a piece of what looks like decorative plastic. Maybe a paper. Very strong smelling. It smells like... Mm, I can't tell what it smells like. Okay. And then... We got... Oh, he looks... It's a little apple friend, I think. Um... They're extra fruity from what it looks like. It says, which Frutito will you unwrap next? We got extra fruity Barrito. And he's very cute. He looks a little bit squished in the face. 
but I feel like, you know, over time he would plump out a little bit more. His eyes are sewn on very well with kind of like an embroidery thing. He's got little pink eyebrows. His face kind of looks like that of a raccoon. And he might actually be a raccoon because of his tail. Which is weird because his name is Burrito. His birthday is October 27th according to this. And I think he smells like an apple. This fruity spot is extra fruity. Ooh, it is. It smells very good. The inside of his ears and his back actually kind of look like a strawberry. While his tail is very soft, uh, light green and dark green striped. He's got little paws on his back feet. And all of his legs are a pink, similar to the pink of his body and his muzzle. His muzzle's got a little black nose with a little black smile. He looks kind of sleepy, but is very cute. The fabric that he comes with is also very cute. It just looks like a little burrito wrap. The inside kind of looks like ice cream, like the way mint ice cream looks. It's got little black with slightly green tinted uh, dots and also smells very, very good. It almost smells like Fruity Tutti Bubble Gum, but kind of like the apple scented ones rather than like the other ones. Um, for this, we only have one piece of paper actually, but it's very cute and I could definitely reuse it somewhere else. I'm not exactly sure well, but I'm sure a craft project would come up. It's got no markings on it, so I feel like it'd be perfect for something like that. And this is the only other thing. It's a checklist telling you who you can get. Um, like I said, very, very cute. On it, we have a normal fruity. It says Puffito, Violetito, Buzzito, and then Berry Fruity, Sherbetito, Melonito, and Raboito, Extra Fruity, Refito, Berrito, and Flamito, which, which is the dragon that we saw in the front that I was questionable about. And then the Super Fruity, which are the super rares, Hootito, Cherryto, and Goldito. So by um, RPG standards, I would say if this is super rare... This is rare. Um, I'd say normal or regular, something or other. Um, but yeah, it's very cute. I love this brand. Like, I've never seen it before, but it, I think it's so original and they're so plush. It almost feels like the little beanie toys. It's very, very cute. Um, the, even the people who mar like made them. I've never seen them before. Basic fun. Very, very, it's very, it's such a cute toy and it smells so good. The entire, like, dining room that I'm sitting in to film this actually smells, like, strongly of fruit right now. It smells a lot like bubblegum. And it's, it, I'm super happy with this. I would de definitely recommend this for people who have younger children, um, who like stuffed animals and want to try out um, their own little surprise toys, stuff for, like, birthday parties and Christmas, um, because I, f like, a lot of other toys, uh, surprise toys, end up, tend to be smaller and have choking hazards. This did not come with anything small and came with literally the only piece of plastic. Maybe this is plastic, but you can keep this. I mean, I usually keep my checklists. I feel like they're very cute and help me shop for extra. So really the only piece of plastic, the only thing I'm probably going to throw away is the bag that it came in, which is also resealable. So if you wanted to go and take and put it back in there, you definitely could. Um, like I said, very, very cute. Definitely would buy again. I probably will buy again as soon as possible. Um... So yeah, if you like this video, please uh, click the like button, subscribe, click the bell if you want to be able to see when I post up next. I'm trying to post on a more regular schedule and try and get things out there for everybody to watch and to see. Um, I'm doing a little questionnaire next time I open something. I feel like it's very important. A lot of people have asked me questions, a lot of people have DM'd me. 
Um, so I will go and answer that question in the next video. If you'd like to, if you're one of the people who asked those questions, um, please stay tuned for that. I will upload that probably here in the next couple days. Um, and even if you weren't a part of that, if you had questions but didn't get a chance to ask them, your questions might be answered. So please check out that video. For that video, I will be reviewing a rainbow corn. So if you'd like to see that, please tune in later. See y'all later. Bye.